Shalom. We want to first off give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahusha, Ba'ashem, Kahakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders and great millstone who are worthy of double honors. All right, peace and mercy to all you Akim that's living in the truth and sincerity, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. This is the brother, brothers from uh, Great Millstone, Tampa, okay, humble servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, here to edify the flock, all right, of the nation of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which you are the Lord's chosen nation of people, okay, and the Lord's tribe of Israel, and the only nation on this planet that has salvation coming to us, which consists of the deliverance of one third of our nation of people pertaining to Zechariah, the 13th chapter, the 8th verse and the 9th verse down. Ex explains that, okay? So the Lord is only coming to save one third, which is the elect, all right? And that's what this uh, uh, lesson that through the spirit we, we're going to get into, okay? Uh, uh, Lord willing, it's edifying. We're going to get right into it. Huh? St. Matthew is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 31. And he shall, slide, can I start verse 30? And then shall appear the son of the son of man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. That's right. So Yahweh Shah, which is the Son of Man, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, okay, he's coming with, with in, in the clouds, which consists of the chariots, the so-called UFOs, all right, the UAPs, all right? The Lord is coming with great power. He's coming with the host of heaven. He's coming cracking the, the sky, and he will be coming soon. All right, as we see in World War Three, uh, uh, starting to trickle down, we see the hour of temptation starting to reveal itself. All right, that time of the coming of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Mashiach is soon, man. All right, our Heavenly Father will be sending Him soon. All right, the Scriptures tell you that He said that you know even the Son don't know the specific time, but the signs that our Heavenly Father gave unto Him is what He shared with His servants. So His servants would know perfectly the time of when He's coming, pertaining to First Thessalonians the fifth chapter. Okay, how by measuring the times diligently within itself, spoke about in Second Ezra's the ninth chapter. Okay, Matthew's the twenty-fourth chapter. When you read from the um, third verse and up, all right, it explains the, the signs that the Lord left, which is numerous amount of signs, which He also spread it throughout the Scriptures, order in order for the church to know. Okay, but those that are guided with the Rachakadash, the Holy Spirit, all right, with 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 by by the men that the Lord has set up. All right, to, 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 to basically teach the purity, the sound doctrine of the scriptures, it's going to know that time. Okay? Verse, uh, verse 31, and he shall, say, read it again, I'm going to read it. Uh, St. Matthew's coming up. St. Matthew's 24, and verse 30, and then shall appear the son of, of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. With power and great glory. Yeah, they're going to be mourning in that time of calamity, man. Okay, he's coming with great glory. He's not coming to save the whole world, which is a dogma and a false doctrine I was taught by the Christian churches, all right? Sanctioned through the Roman Catholic Church and all the different Christian denominations, man. Okay? The, the, the misuse of John 3 and 16, all right, is not accurate and it's not sound according to the scriptures, not according to the precepts that can be stacked upon to prove the sound doctrine, man, all right? When the scripture says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that word world, when you go into that word world, is cosmos, which is a harmonious arrangement, which he made with the nation of Israel, but primarily elect, which is spoken about in the book of Matthew, the 25th chapter, okay? Also throughout the scripture in general, it talks about the kingdom of heaven, all right, be, uh, given on to a, a, a man and, and um, the nation of Israel being that woman, all right? The elect, those that wasn't defiled by the strange woman, the wicked philosophies of the world, which the world was deceived by. Man. Right, and real quick, if I may back you up, uh, John 10, it says, uh, he's, uh, the scriptures say, um, he said, no man can pluck them out of my hand. Mm -hmm. He said, what? No man can pluck them out of my father's hand who is greater than I. So in this reincarnation, the scriptures speak about those that follow me in the regeneration, which is the elect. They're going to come back doing the same thing, mm -hmm. all right, following the Lamb with us wherever he go. So the Lord, I said all that to bring bring it back to, to a point you uh, established, the Lord is going to keep these men, all right? The Lord is going to keep the elect wherever they are. We just hope to be a part of that number in that time. That's right. That's right. Yep. Okay. Right. St. Matthew 24, verse 31. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, 
and they shall gather together his elect mm -hmm. from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. They shall gather his elect. The scripture didn't say nothing about them, him grabbing the whole world, mm -hmm. him coming to save the whole world. He said his elect, and brothers, because I'm going to that word elect, because we want to establish the fact that the Lord is selective. Okay, the Lord, the Lord, he doesn't, he doesn't just uh, 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 pick any and everybody, man. All right, it, it, those that belong to him, like the priest just went into. All right, it, it has to be those that belong to him from the very beginning. Like he told Jeremiah, he said, "Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee." Okay, the scriptures tell you that the fear and the faithful was together in the womb. All right, letting you know that the Lord molds spirits and send them down on specific tasks and missions, man. All right, the elect is sent down to fulfill a lot of the elect, and two thirds is sent down to fulfill their lot, and as well as the heathens, man. The scripture tells us, "Most high rule in the kingdom of men." Okay, this is the word <clears throat> elect. All right, in Matthew twenty-four and 30, 31, it's G one five eight eight. The word eclectos. Eclectos. Mm -hmm. Eclectos. All right. All right. It's going into the first point. Picked out, chosen, mm -hmm. chosen by the Most High. Picked out, chosen. All right. So in order, see, that's the thing that people fail to realize, man. This is why the scriptures say, "For many are called, but few are chosen." Man. All right. So you may, you may hear that you are Israelite. All right, you 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 may understand that you're an Israelite, but if you're not chosen to be of the elect, okay, then then you're not going to be delivered in this go around. See, when going back into John three sixteen it said, yeah, the Lord so so world uh, he so loved the world, right? But that's the world of Israel. That's 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 the chosen nation that he chose to deal with with the scriptures back up continuously. He said, I have not dealt with dealt so with no other nation. Who he revealed the Lord's statute and commandments onto the nation of Israel. Okay, so just establishing these key points is understanding it's a separation. The Lord is a separatist. Yeah, right. He, mm -hmm. To back you up, the, the nation itself, the nation of Israel is great, but there's a great, there's great people in Israel. Just like, mm -hmm. hey, you have a firstborn son. Mm -hmm. Well, there's firstborn sons of the Heavenly Father, man, mm -hmm. out of the nation of Israel that he's established in order to guide and lead the whole nation. That's All right. right, that's what the Lord is doing. We're not just, so once again, the, the Klechtos, they're not regular men. All right, these are the chief, these are the great men of, of the nation of Israel, which is a great nation. Right. See, I have a quick precept. Uh, it's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 6. It says, For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy power, the Lord Yahweh thy power, have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people Ooh. that are upon the face of the earth. That's it. That's it. You, you go into Concon. A, and that's the Lord, all right? He is chosen, all right? A, a, a specific, all right, people over the rest of these other different nations. That's right. And as the brothers have been going into, the world elect those going into the elect, all right? The Lord has chosen, all right, the elect out of that chosen nation, all right? right. The Lord has his favorites, all right? The Lord has his favorite flower. The Lord has his favorites, all right? He's going into his men, all right? And, and uh, 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 the people, all right, of the elect, all right, that he has chosen from the very beginning, that's all right, right, from the foundations of the earth. That's right. Going back into the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people. Yeah, what made us holy when you go to the word holy is separate. What separated us from all these other nations was the fact that he gave the Lord's statute and commandments. All right, first and foremost, to our nation of people, and he put his name on our nation. Because when you go into the word Israel, which is Yasharala, all right, which is he is the son of the most high. Okay? So that indicates that this is why this is why he's going to save his nation, man, because it's his. It's for his glory, man. You could say Israel is, is his portion. That's right. right. It's his inheritance. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, yeah, and the inheritance is the is the the, hey, the meat shall inherit the earth. So mm -hmm. what the Lord is doing is he's he's planted these men so that in the time of their growth, the scriptures speak about faith shall flourish. That's right. And the truth that have been so long without what fruit shall be declared. So the fruit of these men is being declared, and you will know them. But you will know that that you know you don't know that fruit by its tree. That's right. You see, but that tree is is a house of a great millstone right here under Elder Pastor Har on down. That's right. You know, so the Lord has got to the great man. This is all prophecy yeah. that's taking place. You know, that's right. You must got it. That's right. So I'm finish off. It says verse six again: For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power, 
the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. A special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people, above all nations, okay? The scriptures tell you that these nations are like spittle unto the Lord, man, okay? Like a drop out of a bucket, okay? And when you drop, when you drop a little drop of water out of a bucket, you're not caring about that drop, man, all right? Your heart lies with that bucket, okay? So, so, so that's the nation of Israel, all right? Compared to all these other nations, man, all right? The Lord has chosen us. He made us a peculiar people. He put us above all these other nations, okay? Going, going back into the word, eclect those, uh, the point, uh, the third one, it says to obtain salvation through the anointed. It says the Christians are called chosen or elect of the Most High. It says the Messiah is called elect as appointed by the Most High to the most exalted office conceivable. Mm. Woo. <laughs> Real Go quick, ahead. it's good to say elect precious, precious, those that believe on him mm -hmm. shall not be confounded. So he's that, that's why he's the chief cornerstone. It mm -hmm. says he has the most chief office. Mm -hmm. Well, he's the corner, he's the cornerstone of our, of our faith, yeah, right. of this tabernacle of David that's yeah. being built. You know, he's the cornerstone of this thing, man. And, and guess what? We're built upon a rock solid foundation that's right. that is unmovable. Yep. That's why the scriptures tell us to be unmovable, all right, in this in this walk of ours, man. All right, mm -hmm. you got it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And he's a rock of offense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he's 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 a twofold, man. That's right. You know, if your spirit is if your spirit is pure, remember the scriptures talk about the fact that you can't even get to our heavenly father unless you go through the sun. You gotta go through the gate, you gotta go through Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh Shah is, is, is examining the spirit, man. That inward part. You're, get, you're getting trialed and sifted out. If you're pure, you're going to.